Hello everybody, this is Dragonzilla1991 here, and for today's session tonight, depending on what time it is when you are watching this video, I will be talking about two of Eofauna's latest Protocidium models, those being their takes on the American Mastodon and Columbia Mammoth. Now these elephants rarely get made into figures, well okay the Mastodon does get its own model every once in a while and now and then, but the Columbia Mammoth however, hardly gets represented. So it's nice to finally have a decent representation of the hairless giant. By the way, before we start, there is something that I would like to address. Some of you will probably be wondering, do I have Eofauna's new Ankylosaurus figure? And the answer to that is no. Well, at least I don't have it at the present time, but I am planning to order that one someday. But for now, the two giants of the Ice Age. First up is the American Mastodon which first evolved 4 million years ago, originally during the Pliocene Epoch, so roughly round about the same time our ape ancestors were started to walk upright. The Mastodon species originate from the Oligocene Epoch, but the American Mastodon that we all know and love would eventually see the days of the Pleistocene. Before we talk about the model, we should take a look at the card first, as it shows our Mastodon hanging out with another Mastodon. He really does look like he's having a great day. Now onto the figure itself. And a few years ago, back in late 2017, when Eofauna were bringing out the Set Mammoth, they showcased some prototype models for other prehistoric protocidians, and the Mastodon was one of them. However, in the meantime, Safari announced their take on this elephant, and while I still think that it's one of their best figures, but I do honestly believe that Eofauna have knocked it out of the park. The Mastodon has been depicted covered in fur just like its big hairy cousin, However, unlike the woolly mammoth, who was adapted to colder environments, the mastodon preferred warmer terrain. So as we can see on this model, although there is still fur, it's scattered throughout the body and the skin is exposed, but given the environment, he probably didn't need a hairy coat. The colour scheme for the mastodon is dark brown, to which I actually do prefer, as it does look rather natural. The tusks are realistically weathered, just like Eofauna's past models, and the mouth, as usual, is nice and glossy, and the teeth appear to be sculpted, so I've heard. In order to stay cool, elephants will flap their ears, and it's most likely that their long lost cousins and ancestors would have done the same thing, as we can see this exact demonstration on the Mastodon too. Also judging by the way that the trunk has been sculpted, and how the expression looks, we can tell that this is one happy go lucky Mastodon. This beast doesn't really get represented that often, because it lives in the shadow of its more famous cousin, the Woolly Mammoth. And the odd time that we do get this animal, it does feel like a rare and special occasion, and especially if it's scientifically accurate. While the Safari Limited American Mastodon is still recommendable, however, the Eofauna model is far more superior and does capture this mammal's likeness extremely well. And because I reckon many of you will probably want to see it, here is the Eofauna American Mastodon with the Safari Limited American Mastodon that I reviewed before on the channel. The link is in the description below if you wish to check the video out. Now on to the most anticipated model from Eofauna, and also the most requested, the Columbia Mammoth. And I believe that many of you will probably know or remember this hairless giant from the series Primeval. But what was the real animal? Well, the Columbia Mammoth was native to North America, Mexico, and eventually the Channel Islands, where it would soon shrink and become the Pygmy Mammoth. It evolved 1 million years ago, and is one of those species whose fossil remains have been found and discovered at the Rancho La Brea Tar Pits. And when you figure those tar pits, the image that will come to mind will be the mammoth statues witnessing the father mammoth trying to get out of the sticky pit, but is unable to, and all his family could do is watch him suffer his fate. And by the way, those are Columbia mammoths, not woolly mammoths or mastodon as they're often mistaken to be. Anyway, before the figure, let's check out the card, as it shows our mammoth looking rather surprised, as he's just noticed a group of humans hiding behind what appears to be a dead glyptodont. Now on to the model itself, and I believe that figure-wise, this is a first for the Columbia Mammoth, as there has never been a model of this mighty Goliath. Oh yes, there has been the odd model kit, but no actual figure, well at least to my knowledge. So naturally, the Columbia Mammoth would be getting the most requests. And who better to deliver than the champions of scientific accuracies, Eofauna. And of course, this is their second mammoth, the first being the Step Mammoth, as mentioned earlier. 
the color scheme is fairly identical to the American Mastodons, which is a brown sort of color with a very slight tan grey mixed in. I have seen depictions of the animal in light grey, however I don't think that would have been possible in real life. Or perhaps it could have been. By the way, this is how I suspect it would have looked. The tusks are weathered, but this time they appear to look clean, compared to the tusks of past elephants. Perhaps this particular mammoth suffers from OCD. I like to keep his tusks as clean as possible, if mammoths and other megafauna also had conditions, like we do. Anyway, the tusks do look nice, and are my favourite part of the Protocidian. He is flapping his ears just like the Mastodon was, and he is the first prehistoric elephant model from Eofauna to have his mouth closed, which makes a nice change. This figure is just pure perfection, and shows this behemoth as a gentle giant, not a rampaging monster, as Primeval portrayed him. But that was for entertainment purposes, and a documentary show him as an animal. However, I do have one criticism, and that would be the sizing. You see, the Columbia Mammoth was actually a lot bigger than the Woolly Mammoth, but unfortunately, he's shorter compared to the Papo Mammoth, and this doesn't look right, as you can see. I did a review on the Papo Woolly Mammoth last year, by the way, the link to that video will be in the description below if you wish to check that video out. However, with the Safari Mammoth, this is a little better, even though it's still not 100% correct. Hopefully, if you afford to make a model of the Woolly Mammoth, to which I suspect they probably will at some point in the future, because that's another extinct giant that's easy to recreate, they'll correct the sizing. Anyway, aside from that, the Columbia Mammoth is, again, one of their best and a must-have for any prehistoric collection. In fact, at the time Eofauna announced the three models, I asked you all which one were you most excited for the most, and the Columbia Mammoth got the most votes. So how do both the American Mastodon and Columbia Mammoth look with the other elephants? Well, they all look great together, even with the Dinotherium, who towers over the Mammoth, when I believe that they should be the same size as each other. And all of these magnificent Colossuses have been reviewed, links are in the description below. Now, one of my final thoughts on both the Eofauna, Scientific Research, American Mastodon and Columbia Mammoth. These are truly some fantastic figures, and highly recommendable if you're an enthusiast on prehistoric elephants like I am, and they are both what I would call museum quality because they're that good, and they do appear to be the type of models that you would probably see in natural history museums across the world. This is Dragonzilla1991, signing out. Take care, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Out of them three, we've gotten the Dinotherium, and just recently the American Mastodon. So why not the Southern Mammoth next time?